All right, so it is, I got the earphones on, headphones on. It is 12 o'clock in the afternoon on, what's today? On the 1st of December. And I think I've just decided I'm gonna do Vlogmas, all right? So it's gonna be daily vlogs. It might not be the most exciting thing ever, but I'm gonna do Vlogmas. All right, so today, so far, we've had like a really productive morning that I probably should have vlogged. I did a couple of things on Instagram, so I'll show them in a little bit, but pretty much I woke up this morning, I did my devotional, I read, um, I worked for a little bit, I worked out, then the kids got up, we read our Bible, um, they read their Bible, they did their morning routine, then we went, we did our morning menus, then we went on a walk, and now, we're back home. I just finished working with my, um, with my preschooler. I just finished working with him and my older ones have done their language arts and math and I am making lunch. So that's the catch up on the day and let's do this. All right, so we had tacos last night. So I just took the leftover ground beef and mixed it up into the, um, Annie's mac and cheese and bada bing bada boom you got your protein you got your carbs a little bit of dairy lunch there's no vegetables though well you win some you lose some all right I'm looking at my schedule for today it looks crazy because it is crazy but um I literally but I wrote down like the kids school work here so it makes it look a lot busier um, all right, so we just finished that. It is actually way past this time. We're like running an hour behind time, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna do our Christmas unit study and read aloud and play the music right now. And then we'll have our lunch since lunch is cooling down. So we gather all the kids and we're gonna do our Christmas unit study. All right, guys. Okay, so we are going to start our Christmas unit study. Everybody's super excited. Yeah. And, um, we're gonna give a pass out a candy cane for everybody. Later on, when daddy gets home, we're gonna set up the Christmas tree Wait, because that's part of the unit study for Yay. today. Are you excited? Want to decorate it? We're gonna decorate it. Yes. Okay. So. Oh, maybe we should get some more then. What do you think? Good idea, Baba. How, but Do you have a favorite ornament to hang on the Christmas tree? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The tradition of decorating a Christmas tree each year is thought to have come from Germany hundreds of years ago. Christmas trees are traditionally evergreen trees decorated with anything from cookies to popcorn to candles to electric lights and delicate glass ornaments. And, and, and candy canes. And candy canes. What are you painting, Shai Shai? I'm painting a... Uh, what are you making? I, I'm making a house. What are you supposed to be making? I'm making a, a, a house. A Christmas tree? Yes, a Christmas tree. <laughs> And make a triangle with a rectangle at the bottom. You painting your Christmas tree? Yes, I did. And you're coloring your Christmas tree? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna switch. So we're gonna they're gonna do that while listening to the book because I don't actually have the Christmas farm book. Um, so they're gonna listen to it on YouTube. YouTube and then afterwards, we're gonna open our book for today. Our we're gonna open our Christmas book for today. Don't lick the paint. But she couldn't decide what. All right, so we're gonna start from oldest to youngest. Every single day, we will be opening up a wrapped book. And I'm sorry, we're gonna start from youngest to oldest. And we're gonna start with Say Say today. You know, what's in there? Yes. What's in there, Mama? Open it. Open it. Look. 
Oh my goodness! Yes. What book are we reading to the, today? It's the Sparkle Box. The Sparkle Box? <gasps> Let's read. Let mommy read it to you. Okay, mama? All right. On the couch to read a Christmas book, something sparkly on the mantle caught his eye. Mom, is that a present for me, he asked. Sam's mom tossed his hair. It's a special gift called a sparkle box. We'll open it together, but we need to fill it first. Sam was excited, but it was hard to wait. Night, but it's still not ready to be opened. Sam drifted off to sleep, imagining that could be what could be inside. All right, so we are done with our first day of our Christmas unit. It was super sweet. Um, I've got to make a Target pickup order for a couple of things that we need to pick up. We need to pick up some chocolate chips for tomorrow and um, some candy canes and just some other stuff for tomorrow. And so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a Target pickup order and then I'm going to put the little ones to bed and we are going to straighten up the house. Um, each one of my two older ones are going to take um, a room and they're going to blitz that room, clean it up, and then they're going to work on reading eggs and I'll see what I get into. But that's what we're up to now. It's what time? It's almost one o'clock. All right. So this is what we're starting with. Super messy. Um, yeah. The kitchen's kind of a mess too. So I'm probably gonna take the kitchen and straighten up the kitchen. I'm gonna have one child do this room, the other child do that room. And then I've got, well, this is my daughter that she was doing her school back here with the dog. So she can straighten up back here as well. And then we'll be ready for quiet time. It is amazing the amount of work that we can get done all together when we just put our minds to it and just get it done. I mean, many hands make light work is a real thing. And um, just to watch how well we now flow is absolutely amazing. It's worth all the times that I had to take the time to train them to be able to help and to train them to be able to do these different things. I am hoping that not only does it equip them to, you know, just better help the family, but also equips them for the future so that they're able to better maintain their homes and um, better serve in different capacities. This room is completely clean. Little ones are waking up from nap and they're finishing up their language arts and their math. Um, and this room's completely clean. You can get out. This room's completely clean. Um, we've got a huge stain on the floor. So tonight, hubby and I need to mop and um, I need to clean the bathroom and finish off the dishes and things um, because we've got an appraisal tomorrow. But for now, this is a good start, a good cleanup. They're coming in, they're ready for snack. All right, so I ended up um, going to a meeting and then after my meeting, taking a bath. And now I am running to Walmart to pick up some last minute ingredients for our peppermint bark for tomorrow. So join us tomorrow and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. Bye.